Hello, hi, I'm Gautam from Systems College of Engineering. So the topic which I'm going to talk now is about the disposal of nuclear waste into outer space. So most of you are thinking, what is nuclear waste? Nuclear waste is the substance waste obtained from the nuclear reactors for three years, which is the high-level nuclear waste. So the high-level nuclear waste has a lot of radioactive substance in it, which can harm the environment as well as people. So basic thing is like there are many ways to dispose the nuclear waste. So basically in India they reprocess it. In Finland they just uh, dump into the underground. So basically what we can do is like we can either dump it or we can either reprocess it. So there is a lot of radioactive energy in it which could be harmful to the future generations. So what are we thinking is like our project is based on nuclear waste disposal into outer space using the laser ablation system. Laser ablation system is one of the feasible technologies to put the nuclear waste into outer space. So outer space, if you're thinking, there are a lot of safety factors are essential. For example, if you're using a laser, you need a continuous pulse to propel the capsule which has the nuclear waste in it. The nuclear waste are just stored in a vitrified rod. The vitrified rod is nothing but a, a condition which can store the nuclear waste. So nuclear waste, if you think, so you need to select target where you're going to launch it into the outer space. You can, you can just launch it to outer space, you can just shoot it into the star, you can shoot it into the sun. So you need to fix the power of the laser and just mount it in the ground. So the payload system is used here. What is the payload system? Payload system is the opposite of the rocket launching system. In a rocket launching system, you see that the propellants are used to just propel the rocket into outer space. But here we are using a payload system. A payload system is where the ground launching system is used. Ground launch system or the ground launching system, what the laser is used, the laser from the ground system is used to make the capsule just propel into the outer space. So we can permanently, permanently, we can just permanently remove the nuclear waste, all the remove the nuclear waste from Earth. So it's an excellent idea if someone takes an initiative to see the feasible solutions and simulate with the software, CLB software. So we can uh, make the all the nuclear waste to outer space. So this is a uh, this is a system where a gun is a gun. We use bullet. So we use we use the tr trigger just to that to trigger the bullet goes out of the gun. So why are we going to use the same principle, the gun? So the gun is the launching system. So the bullet is the nuclear waste. We can many capsules can be used. So in space we can use a space tag to collect all the capsules and we can just release the uh, uh, substance, nuclear waste substance out of outer space but we can use the capsule back because the capsule amount is all about. So there are like a lot of parameters like exhaust velocity, coefficient of momentum for the lasers which need to be considered and there are parameters for the capsule. The capsule parameters is the weight of the capsule and what are the conditions, a temperature which should be maintained the, you know, the maintained for the nuclear waste to be stored in the vitrified rod in the capsule. And what we need to do is, we need to know how much power we have to give to put the nuclear waste into outer space. And this, and this could be an exploration easily accessible to the space. Anyone can access, access it into the space. This is like oh, exploitation into space with easy, cheap cost. So if you use rocket, there are millions and billions of dollars used to put it in space. But we don't have that much money and there's a lot of risk involved. If we use a laser launching system, which is the feasible technique as far as now concerned, so we can use the laser launching system to put the nuclear waste into outer space. So why I'm saying this laser launching system is very suitable for this is it's a laser generated from a source gives a continuous thrust to the capsule. When the capsule is mounted in such a height from the ground, so that is the continuous thrust given. The air explodes and due to that continuous thrust, the capsule which is mounted in certain height and it has a nuclear waste, we can use it without the waste first. We can use a dummy thing and then we can put it into outer space. So basically, we need to do is we need to see the, all the parameters of the capsule and the parameters of the laser and the surrounding conditions which, which is used to uh, safeguard the environment. We need uh, surrounding measures, measures to be taken and we can put it out in the outer space.
Thank you.